Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one of my first collection videos. When I did my gothic room tour, um, I asked if people would be interested in like some collection videos like taxidermy, like clothes, jewellery, accessories, that kind of thing. And a lot of people requested a jewellery collection, which I was more than happy to do. I own quite a lot of jewellery, especially as I do have my own jewellery company called Simply Gothic. So it's not going to be like all that jewellery but it's going to be just like a few well more than a few the things that I wear on like a daily basis so I have some things from my own shop and then I've got a lot of things from a shop called Darkling Beloved and then there's a few other shops um this could be quite a long video because I do have two bat hangers worth like a pot thing and then also a jewellery box. I'm going to be showing mainly the gothic jewellery um, rather than kind of like sentimental jewellery if that makes sense so yeah um, if you like this type of video consider subscribing um, and I'll get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to go through is this bat hanger and um, these bat hangers by the way are from a company called Metal Liquor if I'm saying that right um, I think they've like revamped it and it's now like a different style of bat but the idea is still the same you still have the hooks where you can hang all your necklaces and then some like striped string to hang them up and I keep like you can see the corner of one right there I keep them like either side so that's what I keep the majority of the necklaces that I wear quite regularly and then the ones that I don't wear as often are in my jewellery box. So I think I'm going to go through the Darkling Beloved stuff first so I can keep it kind of all together rather than saying the company every single time. One of the first pieces I actually got from them was this. And this is like a moon encased in resin or something and this is beautiful. <laughs> Um, I have quite a few of these bat necklaces. Um, I feel like this is one of the styles that made their shop popular, if that makes sense. Um, so I do have it in purple. And these look really pretty with, like, if you've got a big gap, like, without this. Um, they look really nice with, like, dresses and things. So I have a purple one of that. Um, a green one kind of like an emerald green which is really pretty a red one and finally a black one which is probably the one i wear the most if i like wear a striped top i'll usually wear this one and they do have swarovski beads down there which just make them more like elegant and Victorian looking. From the same company I have this one which I haven't worn too much to be honest it's kind of more like a witchy I'd say like I'd wear it with a witchy outfit kind of like this forest green colour. This one I haven't worn yet but it really gives me like Phantom of the Opera vibes and it's like this rose on the same frame as the bat ones and again they have these Swarovski beads and this one's actually on a black chain as well this one as well that I'm wearing is from Darkling Beloved um, and it's really pretty it's kind of like kind of subtle maybe <laughs> um, but it goes well with the skirt I'm wearing because it's got pentagrams on it uh, this is similar to the green one that I just showed you but it's the black version and this is like super Victorian looking And I have worn this with kind of more like lacy dresses, which looks really nice. This might be the last... No, it's not. <laughs> I have this bat one, which is super nice. I usually wear this with like a t-shirt if I'm like not going out somewhere. I kind of just wear it like at the top because it is a shorter necklace. Um, but I do really like this one. And I think this is the last one by them. Um, I could be wrong, but... Um, and this one is just, like, gorgeous. So it's kind of like a resin bird skull with, that's kind of a silvery grey colour. And it's mounted on this Victorian looking frame. 
and i did do an outfit of the day with this necklace as well um called like velvet victorian and i will be doing well i've just filmed an outfit of the day for this outfit so you will see that later on so those are all the pieces i think from darkling beloved i have also ordered another one it's like a green it's kind of the same style as this one um so it's got a frame but the frame's black and then in the resin it's green glitter with like it looks like back confetti um it might be i don't know but i ordered this dress from depop and it's got like it's from hell bunny and it's black and it's got green bats all over and then i saw the necklace and they had i think it was a five pound sale so i grabbed that one really quickly because it would match perfectly the next one I will go on to is my own shop called Simply Gothic and obviously as I make a lot of jewellery there's I wouldn't make it if I didn't like it. So I do have a few pieces from my own shop. This was one of my older designs because um, I did start off making kind of Victorian jewellery and then I went into acrylic because I just found it a bit more unique. Um, like you can kind of buy the parts kind of easily then you can buy acrylic and make your own design if that makes sense but this one i still do really like and i will wear it if i'm wearing like a black top because the silver stands out really nice against it um so it's like this witch charm mounted on this cameo frame with a striped ribbon also i will leave links to all the shops that i mentioned down below um i won't leave specific links to each piece because that would take forever and i'm not sure if the youtube description box could handle that um but if you are looking for a specific one from any of the shops then if you leave me a message then i can like send you the direct link i've got some like pendants that i have like i've got one chain i just change the pendant because there's no point me having like 10 chains um so this is one of my acrylic ones and it's this cute little halloween ghost I mainly wear this one if I wear my ghost jumper because it just matches and it's really cute. So I have that one. One of my favourite necklaces that I designed in 2018 was this graveyard scene necklace. You can probably tell because it's the one I wear the most on like Instagram and things. Um, but it is like a grey acrylic with a tree and a graveyard scene cut out of it. And then I do add like Swarovski beads as well. Um, and this one looks really nice on like a striped top or black or anything. I also have um, a dress from Killstar with pentagrams on. And it's kind of got like a high neck and then a gap um, like here. And like this necklace sits like perfectly in between the gaps. So I do wear this one quite a lot then. Uh, one of my favourite Halloween ones that I designed was this pumpkin patch necklace. I actually had this down to make for 2017 Halloween, but I just had too many designs. I never got around to it. So I was really happy that I managed to create a pumpkin patch for this year. And I did do this in both orange and black acrylic, and I might bring this back next Halloween. So it's kind of like three pumpkins. One's kind of evil, one's sad, and one's happy. And I do tend to wear this with the Hell Bunny dress. I might be doing a styling video with jewellery or something maybe in the future if that's something you'd like. So leave a comment if you'd be interested in that. I have this one, again a Halloween piece from this year. And this one says Halloween Queen. And I, this one's quite small. Um, I designed this on purpose. So say if you can't wear anything too like obvious you could wear this and it's more subtle everything's getting really tangled now uh this was one of my first ones in my subscription box i think box two and it's this raven on a pumpkin and that's like a sneak preview i guess um i will be making these into earrings for the next halloween collection because i have done the same with the cat version so i'd really like to do the same for this uh, this is one of the larger necklaces as well as you can see i have a few christmas ones that i should probably put away now because we're in february um but these were ones that i designed in 2017 but then i like revamped in 2018 um so they were like made of black acrylic rather than white so this is just a cross candy cane necklace with a red skull and then I also have the same one in white. So it's exactly the same, um, but instead it's got a white skull. And this one also had 
has red beads and this has black. From 2017, I also have a Christmas ghost, which again, I revamped in 2018, so last year. And it's this ghost and he's wearing a Christmas hat. Similar to the candy cane necklace, I also did a single candy cane. Which just looks like that. I do tend to wear the cross candy cane one more because it has chain coming off at both sides and I find those easier to wear than this because you've got quite a long length. So if you don't have enough space, it's kind of, it's just easier to wear the other one. I also have a death head moth necklace. Uh, and this was in the Creatures of the Night box and I was really happy to finally design a death head moth. Um, I kind of wanted one for a while. And I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I have this Jack Skellington pendant. So it's like a Christmas decoration with the Jack Skellington face. Which again, I should probably put away by now. Um, this is one of my favourite ones. And it's the Phantom Mask. Kind of inspired by Phantom of the Opera. Which is my favourite musical. <laughs> I really wanted a necklace that I could wear with, like, if I go and see it again. But unfortunately I haven't seen it since I've made this. So I'm still waiting to wear it. I feel like though, this would look really nice paired with this. But you'd have to wear something quite plain so you could layer them rather than like a top like that where you can't really, you know. But I feel like that would be a good pair. I also have this one, again with the Jack Skellington theme. Um, this one's quite subtle because it's more like circular with just like a face cut out. And I do sometimes wear this on my Saturday job and they don't really mind too much. So I will take a break from my stuff because I don't want to like overload it um, because I do have like a couple more things in here but I'm trying to go through it in an organised way. So I'll go on to more of the random ones that I don't have too much of. Um, I've got a few pieces by Metal Liquor which are the same company that made the bat frames. I have this one which is a snowflake. I've seen a few companies do this design and I'm not sure who made it first um, but I'm pretty sure Metal Liquor were one of the first because they've had their design for quite a long time but I could be wrong um, but I really like this because it's really subtle um, it's black glitter which is amazing and the glitter doesn't come off or anything it's like um, an acrylic glitter and it has all these skulls around it and this is a nice layering necklace with like a choker or something. I also have this necklace, which is a Christmas pudding in the Snow White like apple, not effect, like aesthetic, I guess. So it's like a Christmas pudding with the skull like dripping down over it, which would be the icing. I really love this necklace, but I always find that I pick the snowflake one over this to wear, which is a shame because I actually bought this at the end of 2017 like after Christmas in their sale and then this year I never wore it and I I really wanted to wear it so there was just not enough time for Christmas because like I had so much work at on my art course and stuff and they're just I didn't feel like I had the proper build up to Christmas this year which made me really sad <laughs> and now we have summer <sighs> I've got this choker um I don't really wear it too much to be honest because I prefer like the leather chokers like that o-ring choker that i literally wear in every outfit of the day video but it's so comfortable and it just goes with everything so i kind of stopped wearing velvet chokers um but i do still have this in my collection and it is just a simple pentagram choker um and it is a black velvet material and this was from my first spooky box that i got um i think it was called box of strange kind of a like the characters, like gothy characters, like Wednesday Adams and things. And this was in that box. And I do really like it. But again, I just... I've got so many necklaces that I can't like wear all of them. So. I can't remember where this one was from. Um, It's a raven pendant on a chain. And this is really, really pretty. Um, it's on a quite short chain, but I do sometimes again wear this to work. Um, I'm, I'm going on to the more necklaces that are subtle that I wear to work because they're all like on the same stand. Um, another one of those is this, and this is by Metal Liquor. So it's a treble clef with a skull at the end. 
is fairly simple but also i used to be in an orchestra like when i was 18 i mean i stayed like an extra year because now i'm 20 so i've been in it for probably like seven years um and whenever we used to do concerts i used to have like a gap in like the shirt that i used to wear and this fit like perfectly in the gap and it's kind of like spooky but also music so i really liked that to wear in concerts another one from spooky box is this ghost necklace and this is probably one out of my two favorites from spooky box um out of like jewelry wise and this is a ghost and he's got like a sad face the bumpy texture is from when I've just like hairsprayed and stuff. Like it was more shiny when I got it. Again, it's on a fairly short chain. Um, so it would come down to probably about here. Um, I do wear this to work as well. Um, it's like a nice subtle one. And I do really like this because this is one of the necklaces that just hasn't tarnished. Um, so I'm not sure, like even the chain hasn't really tarnished that much and the pendant definitely hasn't. After that, I've had a few necklaces from them that have, unfortunately. But this is one of the ones that is my favourite from Spooky Box, along with another one that I'll show you in a minute. This next one is from Cherry Loco Jewellery, and I do have two pieces from them. I think one of them's in the box, so I'll go to that one in a minute. But this is a Death Head Moth necklace, and it is like a coloured acrylic. Um, and this must have been very tricky to make um because i do single layered acrylic that's like engraved and stuff but this has been like kind of glued in different layers so it is made of like a brown yellow and black acrylic and also white for the skull and i just love the detail on this again i haven't i don't think i've worn this one yet i did want to wear it with that kill star dress that has all the moths and like the roses on and stuff but I don't think I've worn that dress yet. So I have this for when I wear it. This next one's from Restyle. I have a bangle by them. I'm not sure if it's in the box or not. But I don't really own that much Restyle jewellery. Um, but I do have this silver bat. Which is really pretty. And I do like to wear this with jumpers and also like jumper dresses. Because it's a really nice statement piece. Um, the only problem I had with this is that the clasp like literally broke the first time I opened it. So I just replaced like the clasp with one of my clasps and it's been fine. Um, and also the nose has tarnished a little bit. But overall I do really like it. Um, I have mentioned before that I'm not too into restyle jewellery just because I... Every time I've bought something, the quality's kind of been a bit off. But I do really like this piece and I would buy it again if I didn't have it, so. And the last one on that hanger, so I've gone through like two of the bat hangers now, um, is this one. And this one, again, is another piece that I designed. Um, I do have a few more of these, so I can um, leave the link below if you're interested. But I am a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. And I really wanted to make an Alice in Wonderland collection kind of like Victorian gothy inspired and I found these pendants and they they're like detailed on the back as well and it's a pocket watch which is amazing and then the black is felt and then there's a white rabbit so I really liked this one and I do wear it whenever I do like an Alicey themed outfit moving on to this now some of the bracelets are just from like random shops so I won't explain too much about them because there's no point in me explaining about stuff that you can't really find that easy because there's no point. Um, but just quickly, like, I have a few crystal bracelets. They're made of, like, a stretchy, um, like, an elastic kind of material with the crystals threaded through. I do really like crystals, so that's why I have them. I used to get them on eBay and they were literally, like, £2 a pound. Um, but then the shop closed down, so I'm not entirely sure where you can get these. I have this skull one, which I wear quite a lot. Um, and this was is just from when I went on holiday and they had like a gift shop. This one, again, fairly simple. It's just like a beaded plait bracelet, I guess. Um, and I got this on holiday as well. This one I got on holiday. <laughs> um, it's like an onyx bead bracelet. And then this is one of the ones I wear every day too. And this is the Sophie Lancaster bracelet, which you can get. So I will leave that below. So 
moving just on to the random tray i've got this choker which is one of those tattoo chokers and i really like this someone bought it for me for my birthday a few years ago um and the beads are white they were white they've kind of turned like a horrible brownie color which really annoys me and i keep looking out for another one like this because i don't want just a plain one i like the beads on it but they're not like those sparkle beads they're just kind of pearly looking so it, it's just got a bit dirty with like sprays like when i spray my neck and stuff this just gets dirty if you know where i can find another one of these then um leave a comment below because i do really like it but it just kind of grosses me out a little bit <laughs> this is the second spooky box necklace which i really love and this is the cathedral one When I actually saw this, because I didn't buy the box that this went in, I saw this necklace and thought, oh, that's really cool, but I don't really need it because, it, I don't know, I just didn't really, I, I liked it, but I didn't feel like I needed it. And then the Haunted Bat was actually selling it. And then I looked at it again and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of pretty. So I bought it from her and I love it like more and more each day kind of thing. And I did include this in a recent outfit of the day as well. So I would say that this is my top favorite necklace along with the ghost from spooky box and again no tarnishing none on the chain either so that's also good this one is a bit random um it's just the pendant from uh claire's accessories i think it's kind of like a skull with a glitter bottle um and it does have like black and rainbow colored glitter in there um i do really like the pendant it's kind of got fangs on it or something and with like a brain i don't know but i just i really like the pendant and i used to wear it with the jumper but the chain went green so that's why i just have this one like without the chain but i have this this might be my only jewelry item from killstar but i do have this huge ankh necklace and it's probably one of my favorites i wear it nearly every day yeah unless like i'm wearing a fancy top like this one which i won't wear it with um, but it is on a really long chain the only thing i've had with this is that the loop on it has like a gap there and sometimes if i like catch it on something then the chain like comes out of it which is a bit annoying um but i have managed to fix it so far but yeah that is one from killstar and i believe this one's in the sale as well so it's always good i have this one from creepy company creepies something um i got it from october 31st and it is a wooden necklace and this is the only wood necklace i have but i really like it so it is this pumpkin design with like a glaze over it just on like a o-ring and then it's the wood on the back i saw this in the haunted bats video of like an october 31st haul or something and I just really liked it, so I went out and bought it. Um, but it was only £5, I think, and I do really like it, and I wear it for more casual days. Uh, this one's dusty. <laughs> but this one, again, is from my shop, Simply Gothic, and it's a gingerbread latte cup, again, which should go away um, at this point. I've got quite a few Christmas ones out that I need to, like, put away because it's not Christmas anymore. And the last one from my company from the tray is this charm bracelet and it's got like skulls and back coffins on and i really like this because i was looking for a charm bracelet and most of them are over 10 pounds i was like i don't really want to spend 10 pounds on a bracelet so i decided to make my own and i do really like this and i do sell this in my shop for seven i believe this one I actually sold like a one-off in my shop, but the pendant is from Michael's, I think, um, when I went to America two years ago. And it is this really intricate raven with bat wings on this Victorian frame. I just put a Swarovski bead on it and then the veil thing that goes through the chain. I don't think I've worn this one yet either. Um, but I do really like the design and I should really wear it. Maybe this will remind me that I have necklaces that I really love that I don't wear. This charm 
I really like as well. I kind of wish it was a bit bigger, but then you can't change a snake's jaw. So this is a clear kind of vial thing. And it does have a snake's jawbone inside and all of this is like ethically sourced and stuff. But this was from the company Jawline Jewelry and I really loved their like bone designs. Um, I followed their shop on Depop and I'm not sure if they have an Etsy shop now. I think they do. But yeah, I used to follow them quite a lot and then they stopped doing like bone trading or something so they stopped doing taxidermy pieces they're still called jawline jewelry but they started doing kind of creepy jewelry like doll eyes which is cool but i don't like dolls at all and that's kind of all they do they do like wall art with doll eyes in and like doll eye key rings and earrings and necklaces and different colored eyes but again like i mm, i really don't like dolls so so far there's like nothing I can really buy from them at the moment which is sad um, because I did really like the taxidermy pieces. This was one that I missed out earlier from Darkling Beloved and this is a crow's foot which is really pretty. And the last one on my tray is my Pandora bracelet. I would say this more is more sentimental but um, it is kind of spooky at the same time. This is what it looks like. Um, I do have like a plain, a opera mask because i like theater um a artist palette a snake a treble clef a heart that's a capricorn sign a ghost there and then a little pumpkin which is cute the tray is empty so moving on to the jewelry box now um i'm not sure how much in here is spooky but i'll see <laughs> i'm just gonna empty it out and then see what i actually have in here the first one out of here is a alice themed necklace and it is a in a bit of a tangle but it will um and it's really subtle and it says we're all mad here which is a quote from them and it is on a bronze chain i do have like this metal bangle which i used to wear all the time and it was actually my mum's because my mum used to be like a goth for about not even a year <laughs> so um she gave me this silver bangle that she always used to wear and it is made of leather with metal on top of it. I have a few kind of cord pieces like necklaces and bracelets uh, mainly that I wear on holiday because I don't like wearing chain on top of sun cream because it just goes yucky and then it's ruined. Um, so I do tend to wear these more on holiday. Um, so this is a shark's tooth necklace. And I do have another one, which is a slightly different design. So yeah, I don't tend to wear them like every day. As for the bracelets, I've got a skull one. So like this one, I'll take over the elastic one when I go on holiday and things. Look at this. That's awful. <laughs> I've got a few scorpion pieces, um, again, which I wear on holiday because I really like scorpions and taxidermy jewellery. So this is just a black resin one. And I also have a bracelet of a scorpion, which is cool. This one does actually also glow in the dark. I've got a random bug in resin. This is not untangling. Um, so I've got a purple skull bracelet, kind of more subtle, again, for holidays and things. And then a king cobra necklace. I got this that I actually made from a guitar pick. Um, I don't really wear it too much. I think because the charm's tarnished on it. Oh no, the chain's just like a bronze colour. But I do like the um, design of it. It's Alice. So I might just take this off and get rid of the necklace. Um, I've got this one from Spooky Box. This was in the Abominable Box, I think, from last year like 2017 yeah so it's got a skull snowflake with some like gems on it i do like the skull snowflake but the other ones are just a bit plasticky and like cover up the snowflake so i i think i've worn it once to work and that's kind of it and the last necklace on the bottom layer of this I've still got like all of this to go <laughs> i said it was going to be a long video is this um this is very gross um probably my grossest necklace i have but this is 
Okay, there's, there's green coming off of my hands. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean medallion necklace. And I was, I went through a Pirates of the Caribbean obsession stage, like obsession. So I wanted to get a necklace to wear like around Disney and things. Um, but it does have green rust on it, which is not good. Maybe when I go this year, I can get another one because this is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so shouldn't be too long left um i've got a few chokers randomly in here that i used to wear quite a lot but as i said i don't really wear them anymore this was from a really nice company called twirly trinkets i was sure i was gonna mess that up um and this is a black snowflake design on with like chain coming off of it which is really pretty I've got a, oh yeah, this is one I made. And this is a witch on a moon. This was one of like my first choker designs. I've got this one, again, from Twirly Trinkets, which is a black heart on a choker. Kind of my baby bat stage. <laughs> and then I've got this one, which is cool. And it's got an anchor on it. Again, pirate stage. And then this is the last choker, I think. And this is a Victorian lace kind of one. So it does have a bronze kind of fake jewel effect. This one's pretty, it's just kind of itchy to wear, which is a shame. I'll go through the rings first. Mainly I just keep these rings, which are the ones I wear all the time. But I do have this one, which is a replica of the Jack Sparrow one. Again, obsession. <laughs> I've got a snake one which is quite cool and then also this star one um and then i've got the ones i wear on my fingers all the time so i might do like a more in-depth video on my rings because like a lot of people ask about them like where i got them from and things um but i'll just give you like an overview so i've got like a bat one um a feather down here and like a plat one um a moon a snake a cauldron a onyx one and then this one that says witch but it's really tarnishing so i need to get another one of those um i've got a few more crystal ones which i'll just show you in one go again i'm not same scenario as the first time um got them from ebay ebay shop closed down this pendant which is a moon from ebay i believe um i got this which is from a friend um I got it for my birthday, which is like an onyx pendant on a gold chain. I got this, which I made myself, which is kind of like a bunch of flying witches. I've got another, like, I've got a few, like, crystal point pendants as well. Dotted around. Again, here's another one. I also have a clear quartz one, which I think has fallen down over there. I also have this one, which is really pretty. It's got moons and Swarovski beads on, which is a bracelet. I've got this, which I believe is from Curiology. It's like a pentagram choker. I took the ribbon cord off of it because it was blue and I wasn't... I think I got it in Witch Casket. I've got this, which is a witch um, flying on a broomstick made of black acrylic. I've got this from my shop, which is a crescent moon choker kind of design so it kind of sits on your neck like that um and then attached to that i've got my old pumpkin design which was the 2017 halloween collection and then the last one in that compartment is this um and this is a skull anchor i really liked making this because basically i've got a hell bunny dress and it's Kind of like a halter neck design and it's got skull anchors on it but the skulls are a bit different because i didn't want to like copy their design or anything but i really wanted a necklace to match it so i made this um but if you'd like me to release this for like everyone in my shop then please let me know as like a summer release because i i really like the design of it um but some people like i designed this for a specific dress and if you don't have the dress people might not like it if that makes sense moving on to the last few things i've got this which i don't wear too much because the hook broke on it but it's a heart design 
and I think it has a clock inside yeah but it's kind of gross because I blue tacked it together <laughs> so there's that one again I don't really wear that I don't tend to wear it if they've got bronze chains because I prefer silver um I've got this which is really pretty um and this says drink me in like a really alice -y font and it does have a cork in it and everything it's really cool if I'm going for like an alice -y look I've got this one which I don't tend to wear anymore um but it was from an old friend so it's just like an ornate heart with a key inside of it this is another one from Darkling Beloved which is this huge crystal I don't know if this is it could be clear quartz I'm not entirely sure but it is a really pretty crystal and it is on a super long chain as well so this is a rose like Victorian design again one of my first ones which I do still have in my shop I think so I have that one I've got a silver moon which is more like a subtle one um, it's still quite effective um, it would look good on a choker as well I got this um, yeah I think it's glass a mixture of like glass and Swarovski beads um, from Venice this is the other one that I was talking about earlier from cherry loco jewelry and this is a pumpkin design again with the layering it's got two sets of acrylic it's got a black layer and then it's got the glitter orange um, and this is really cute it was originally on a choker um, and I did wear this when I'm in like my loungewear stuff um, but I did wear it as a necklace which is why I took it off the choker in the end because again I feel like I wear the o-ring choker like the fake leather ones a bit more than velvet this which is like a fake cameo design kind of a locket which is from another shop on ebay it could be the one where i got the moon pendant from onto the final things now um i got this bracelet from amazon i think from the disney range um and it's an alice in wonderland key bracelet so it's got all different types of keys um, it hasn't tarnished or anything because I did spend quite a lot of money on this uh, But the thing is like all the keys caught on my clothing and then this key like just snapped Which isn't great. So I don't tend to wear that and it is fairly heavy I prefer to wear like a lightweight bracelet right last three things I've got this which is another one I made So this is a witch and pentagram bracelet with like green and black beads I've got this one which was from I think they were called Laura um, she sent me this and also a matching hair though which I did a video on um, but it is a resin bat skull mounted on a frame and the last thing from my jewellery collection is this bracelet now this was from a spooky box that charm bracelet that they kept adding charms to and honestly like this isn't my favorite and I'm kind of glad that they've stopped doing the charms for it now um the bracelet itself has tarnished but it does fit me and then I've got this is going to be hard to show so I've got a coffin charm a bat charm a crossbones one some of these like fake jewel designs a witch hat and also a skull up here and then i added the witch one from a different company but yes so that took forever and that's going to be very fun to edit that was my jewelry collection so far i do have another one on the way um but yes that was very long i do tend to wear the stuff out on the bat hangers more than the jewelry box which is why it's kind of tucked away um kind of like holiday jewelry as i mentioned before or things that i've kind of gone through phases that i still like but i don't wear as much so i hope you enjoyed that video if you're still here after all that time i am looking to do more collection videos as i said i want to do a taxidermy one once i've got a few more pieces and also a pin collection once i fill up the banner thing that's on my wall and also an outfit video but i kind of need a lot of time and at the moment i'm kind of filming before i go to university so i don't have too long to film which is why i don't want to get out my whole wardrobe but i will find a day to do that i will link this outfit of the day outfit that i'm wearing today if it's up by that 
by this point. Leave a comment to what you liked and if you wanted a direct link for something that I maybe didn't mention the shop of or you can't find it on the website or something and I'll do my best to try and find that for you. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing if you want and I will see you in my next video. Bye!